how's it going everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest and the greatest gaming news. Today I want to break down the most recent gaming news that happened within the last couple of days, meaning today and yesterday. Not too much going on in the Bethesda news front, however I will still cover and break down anything new that goes down involving Bethesda. But today I have some crazy cyberpunk news and some other gaming leaks that are pretty interesting as well, so let's not waste any more time and get to today's information. First off, there are multiple class action lawsuits going through the very early stages right now against CD Projekt Red, claiming that Cyberpunk 2077 was falsely advertised in order for CD Projekt Red to try to get as big of a profit as possible. Now, first of all, do I believe CD Projekt Red did that? No, I don't. However, the executives did make some pretty shady decisions that even pissed off the actual dev staff and the rest of the CD Projekt Red employees, as there is a lot of internal strife and arguing going on within CD Projekt Red. During a recent call between the executives, the management, and the developers and the rest of the employees, employees and devs were yelling and accusing managers of falsely advertising the game, claiming it was in a bug-free and complete state when it wasn't, and for forcing the game out in order to actually try to have it for sale for the holiday season. And at first, because the game was received so negatively, the game developers actually lost out on the promised bonus if Cyberpunk 2070 reached a certain Metacritic score, however, the executives decided to give the developers and the employees a bonus anyway because they felt like it was their fault, the game was forced out early, and no kidding, it obviously was. And because of all this, there is a lawyer over in Warsaw in Poland who is getting together a massive class action lawsuit against CD Projekt Red because, like I said, they feel like CD Projekt Red falsely advertised Cyberpunk 2077 in order to gain a bunch of false hype and get a huge profit, and not only that, but a law office in New York is doing the same thing here in the United States. They are already asking people who feel like they were faulted by this false advertisement, people who are not satisfied with Cyberpunk 2077 to contact them, and it seems like both of these lawsuits will most likely go through. Whether or not they will win, I, I don't know, I'm not an expert on this kind of lawsuit stuff, but I do feel like there is enough evidence here to at least get it in front of a judge in the courtroom, and usually if something like that happens, some companies usually will try to sell these types of things out of court just by offering some kind of massive settlement or something, and that might be what actually happens here. And if that's what happens, then CD Projekt Red lost out on a lot of money, especially because of these lawsuits, which is a shame because I am personally loving Cyberpunk 2077 and I don't want them to abandon this game or the universe. I want there to be a Cyberpunk 2. I want this universe to be expanded upon because it's a great game. The characters are amazing, the story is great, but there's just so many bugs and technical issues and removed features that, that, that can't be ignored. CD Projekt Red has to make this right, and it seems like they're going to. And all this follows Microsoft saying they will now honor anyone who is not satisfied with Cyberpunk 2077, offering full refunds, and Sony is doing the same thing and going even further by removing Cyberpunk 2077 from their game store, and I'm hearing this is because the agreement made between CD Projekt Red and Sony was because Sony usually never offers refunds after you purchase a game. In order for Sony to offer refunds as CD Projekt Red requested, Sony would have to take Cyberpunk 2077 off of their game store because in their eyes it's not ready to be sold because it's it's a technical mess and people are not satisfied with it in its current state. So in order for the refunds to go through on Sony's side, Cyberpunk had to be removed from their actual digital store, which is just nuts. I don't think this has ever happened in gaming history before, at least from my knowledge, and like I said, this is such a shame because I'm having little to no issues with Cyberpunk 2077, except I am playing on a decent PC, so that's one thing you have to keep in mind, but I hope that they fix this game and the community's tone for this game can change, so this game and its universe can get the love and attention and hopefully continued content it deserves, and sequels, of course. I want to see more of this game, so hopefully this situation changes for the better. And I'm not the only one that thinks this, there are a lot of mixed emotions and stuff going down in the community right now, including from CD Projekt Red staff who are actually liking certain tweets over on Twitter that defend the game or that talk crap against Sony actually removing the game from the digital store, which is pretty interesting. In fact, Anna Badowski, who is the studio head for CD Projekt Red, was actually liking tweets like this as well, but I don't blame Adam. He's passionate about his game like a lot of the other developers are, and you gotta keep in mind here, it's not the dev's fault the game isn't ready because they were kind of messed with just like we were. It's 
it's the executives from CD Projekt Red who are more just investors than they are gamers who force this game out. So I feel totally bad for the devs and I do feel like they're going to make the situation right. So keep that in mind while we try to critique the situation. It, it doesn't excuse any of the issues in the game, but it does kind of paint a better picture about the truth here. And I think there has been like three or four patches since the game came out with Cyberpunk 2077's 1.05 hotfix release like I think literally yesterday for PC and maybe consoles the day before. And I have seen some actual improvements even on my PC build with this recent patch, but there are still some issues like small things like going to get your tarot card reading from Misty and her placing invisible cards on the table. There's still texture popping and there's still like cars just appearing in front of me that causes me to wreck. That could be my issue because I don't have a solid state drive, I have just regular hard drives. But either way, it's good to know that they're releasing patch after patch in such a short period to try to get this game basically where it should have been when it released. That's it about Cyberpunk 2077 though. Let me know what you think about the game and the recent patch and whether or not you hope the game actually persists beyond all this drama and problems. Do you hope the game will continue to exist and get more sequels and content and hopefully actually be fixed? Let me know down in the comments below. But our next story is a pretty massive, supposed, keep that in mind, supposed Battlefield 6 leak. Because about a week ago there was a pretty massive and really horribly organized Battlefield 2021 leak, or more specifically for Battlefield 6, and basically talks about the game's setting and just like a bunch of the other stuff. The game is going to take place in World War 3 apparently. It will feature massive 64 versus 64 player size combat on PC. It will involve Russia attacking America, and it seems to be a continuation of the Battlefield single player story that we saw in the previous games. There's a lot of stuff to go through here, but keep in mind this is just a supposed rumor from one of those old fashioned Reddit leaks. Some of these Reddit leaks do end up being true, but keep your speculation salt close in hand in regards to this leak. Either way, I, I do believe we will see something like that in the next Battlefield game, a direct continuation of the single player story, and that will also kind of set the tone for the game setting as well. But either way, this is kind of a safe guess, even though it's a massive and disorganized paragraph. And the last story of the day is another leak, except this one seems to be more legit, and it's for the new Back for Blood game, which is a cross-generation game a spiritual successor of Left 4 Dead, which was recently announced, even going as far as showing a gameplay showcase. The game does look good, especially for those who are Left 4 Dead fans, and again, this new massive leak comes from one of those old-fashioned Reddit leaks just like Mama used to make, only this leak, like I said, seems a lot more legit because there is a lot of stuff here. It seems like this is a file asset leak, meaning actual assets from the game somehow leaked to the internet and there are images and just a whole bunch of stuff here that I don't want to show in case I get in trouble, but if you look through this reddit leak for yourself there is a lot of stuff here that looks like early assets from the early stages of the game's development and just file names and a lot of interesting stuff and judging from a lot of the stuff in this file list there seems to be somewhat of a focus on microtransactions as well which a lot of people are already mad about but keep in mind this leak might be fake but I, I don't think it is just based upon how much work would have went into faking something like this that probably would have never gotten enough attention to warrant all of that work for a fake leak so I believe this one is true, but either way, that's everything I want to talk about in today's video. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoy the content, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn notifications on. If you want to help grow the channel and the community, be sure to share the video as well, because sharing content is the best way to help grow a channel and a community, and I could use that help now, because it seems like YouTube isn't notifying people of my new uploads, and they aren't showing it to new people who aren't subscribed on YouTube either. My channel hasn't grown that much, because YouTube is, for some reason, just suppressing my content accidentally or something, so if you could share my videos and my channel, that would be much appreciated. And speaking of appreciation, this video was brought to you by the following amazing people. If you want to get your name featured on this list and shouted out in every future video from this point forward, you can support the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member. Links for all this and more are down in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time, when I still believe Rob Zombie would have been perfect for Johnny Silverhand in Cyberpunk. Punk, just saying. It just works. <laughs>